Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Workshop, featuring Duelist. In the last games, I feel like the Zeus Songhai deck isn't doing so hot. Um, so what's wrong with it? I think we're going too heavy into the entire controly bits. And in this current meta, meta, whatever you want to call it, I think that playing a control deck is not that good because people are either summoning too many minions for you to control, especially in a deck like Songhai, or they're summoning too big minions for you to kill. And Songhai can't deal with either of those. So, I feel like this episode of Duelist will be dedicated to rethinking the deck. So we want to make a Songhai deck, and I really want to make a Songhai deck. Songhai is my favorite faction. Um, and what's the problem? Reva Eventide's power, which I originally thought was like super good, isn't as good as I thought it was. Summoning a Heartseeker might seem strong originally, but opponents everywhere just have so many ways of dealing one damage that it rarely works out. Kaleo-san then becomes really interesting because of the ability to give myself more reach. I can therefore put my units in a safer place and then put units into the opponent's face. And I think that alone is worth considering for um, a deck. So it's still gonna be a zoo deck, right? It's definitely still gonna be a zoo deck. But we're gonna have to change the focus a bit and make it a bit more aggressive. So I think that flying tribe was very interesting, right? If you put these two guys in, these sky wings are gonna like win us the day. And these wings of paradise are really good because you can, they, they enable combos. Black locust, no, no, we're not putting that card in the deck, okay? It's too slow. Inner focuses, foci. So if this is going to be the deck, Kaido Assassins and Gorehorns are going to get in instantly because of Kaleo Sun's Bloodborne spell. And with the Bloodborne spell like this, Shakri Avalar is pretty good. I've seen people play this. It's really good. I guess that means we put Tusk Boars in too. Lantern Foxes, yes. Is this going to turn into an aggro deck? <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's an aggro deck, isn't it? Healing Mystic, Primus Fists. Oh, no, no, wrong card. Blaze Hounds. Saber Spines. Phoenix Fires. Okay, so we don't have enough space for the Killing Edge, which is a wrong wrong. We should have space for it. We don't need that many Chakri Avatars. Actually, we only need one. Why do we only need one? Because this is a combo killer, basically. We only need one Tusk Boar. That makes three killing edges. Is, is this the entire deck? Well, I guess that's the entire deck then. Um, so here's the strategy with the deck. Chakri Avatar for a last minute OTK. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty okay. It's a last minute OTK. But uh, the goal is to just summon a ton of units, right? Do I feel like this is better than the other deck? It might be because, again, this one has faster plays. Maybe I have too many 3-drops? Nah, nah, I think it's okay. Wait, if we're running an aggro deck, why, why don't we have Flameblood Warlocks in here? Wow, like this deck has so little space. I guess we can get rid of one healing mystic. And a Gorehorn? Gorehorns aren't really that good uh, without the inner focus play on them. So this, uh, this lets us put in two flame bloods, and I think that's good enough. So, <laughs> are we serious? Is this just faces the place? So let's see how it will work out, and I'm absolutely sure it's going to be faces the place again. 
Well, this is already a much better opening hand that I was usually getting before. But I guess we can mulligan out the Blaze Hound. We don't need it right now. So this is good if he summons a very important unit that we want to remove, but I highly doubt he'll have anything like that. Oh no. Oh no. It's a Mechazord deck. Okay. It's a good thing I'm playing a Backstab deck then. Oh, there's the Chakri Avatar. I guess we can play the Chakri Avatar instead. Yeah, that's really good. So now he'll be like, oh no, let's spend all my resources to remove this two mana unit. Look, it's gonna happen. Just just watch, just watch. He's gonna spend the entire turn just removing the Chakri Avatar. Um, by the way, um, this is a safe this is safe because he'll have to He can't reach it with his general, is all I'm trying to say. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Tiger. No, it's a Night Sorry Assassin. I call these Night Sorry Assassins, okay? Because I find it to be a funny name. Without that many spells in the deck, I think the Shakri Avatar might not that be might not be that good, but we'll see. Destroy enemy unit with two at less attack. Wow, Night Sorry Assassin is significantly different from what I remember. So Healing Mystic is gonna go. That's exactly what I wanted. Because this is gonna be the play now. We're gonna block him off from reaching the Chakri Avatar. We're gonna buff the Chakri Avatar. Chakri Avatar is gonna kill this. Bam! Becomes a 5 2. Next turn, he'll have to spend a lot of resources to remove this, which will give me more Phoenix Fires, which will feed my Chakri Avatar. And then we can blink! <laughs> Oh, he's running away! So what important unit are you gonna drop here? That's the only reason I think he should be running away. Because he's gonna drop an important unit. Shadow Dancer, no. Blood Moon Priestess, no. Cannon of Mechazor is the correct answer. He's gonna hit me in the face. Alright then. I mean, the answer... Like the series of plays for this turn is gonna be pretty obvious, right? So you can Abyssal Scar this turn, but like, what's he gonna Abyssal Scar? <laughs> ah, If he puts like, um... What's the name of that unit? Abyssal Crawler there. If he puts an Abyssal Crawler there, that's gonna be a bit of a problem for me. I guess we can replace the Primus Fist. Huh, Blaze Hound. Am I running out of hand? I mean, it's not that important now. I don't think so. So the play is to do this. That gives me a Phoenix Fire. We do Wings of Paradise into Phoenix Fire this. So this drew me two Phoenix Fires, and two Phoenix Fires are super good. So, um, yeah. Okay. So now we have access to Blink. So we can Blink here, then Blink here. Sorry, move here, then Blink here. But he's moving far away. Far, far away. And what's that? It's a Wings. Okay, he's almost gotten Mechazord complete. Almost got the Mechazord complete. One more Mechazord to go. Okay. Okay. So we move here. Right. We play Phoenix Fire on this dude. So the main goal is to block block him off from summoning anything, period, right? So summon this here. You can then replace. You can then hit this. 
Uh, that's one thing I really dislike about the AI is that it blocks these upper halves of the upper corners of the screen. UI, I mean, not AI. Okay, so now he's gonna have to trade into this in order to summon his Mechazor, which I know he will. But this is gonna deal a lot of damage to him next turn. Yeah. So here's the thing with Mechazor players, is that they always do this. A Dark Spine Elemental. That's interesting. We actually want to draw a spell. Spell? Nope. So I attack here. Is this actually enough to kill him? So that's plus four, plus three, seven, right? Plus two because shock regain is from that. Nine, ten. Oh, he's dead. Good game. Well played. We will blink the avatar. Because Bloodborne spells are indeed spells. Well played, sir. The damage potential is really high. And that's how you deal with the Mechazor. <laughs> they take too long to summon, and so that. If he had placed his Mechazor somewhere near himself, um... He would have been able to probably block off some of my positioning, which would have been very important. People often underestimate the amount of damage you can do in this game. Um, especially with Songhai, you have a lot of burst damage if you have units alive or have inner focus in your hand. So against this Vanar, we're gonna have a tough time, I guess. Ooh. All these cards are so good. Hope for a flying? Oh man, okay. Turn one's gonna be Tusk Boar, Phoenix Fire, or Lantern Fox. Oh. That's actually really interesting. Um, The cool thing about flying units is that you can summon them in the safest place possible, and they'll stay safe. Oh, there's my Shakri. Hi, Shakri. There's only one of you, but you're you're gonna win games because you're a secret burst damage. Skywing. Oh, this is a two drop. If you play this for two, it's super value. Of course, he's gonna take the center of the board. Um, I. I would be very shocked if anything else happened. I'm shocked right now. What? There we go. There's the chromatic cold. If that's your entire turn, why didn't he move? That interests me. Why didn't he move? Why? Regardless, it's gonna be a tusk boar turn. Because this lets us gain some good positioning. Remember to don't to not play anything in the same column as you, because Vanar General is Vanar General. Um, we have a choice between summoning this or this. It's gonna be Lantern Fox because he draws us damage. Why did I put it here instead of um, here? Because if he goes up here, he's gonna have to start fighting my Skywing, and I want to force that. We are, we're gonna keep Shakri in the hand in the hand because he's extra damage. He's burst damage, especially in conjunction with Blink. Blinks? Hmm, I'm not sure. I mean, Blink seems to be way more impactful than oh whatever Reva Eventide's ability is. Okay, oh Chromatic Cold. Mm. 
That's getting really frustrating, but he's already chromatic cold two units, I think. So we don't need the inner focus right now. Interesting. The play is to play Shakri Avatar here in a relatively safe spot. Do this. We know the place. We know the place. It's face. Face is the place. Now that he's used um two chromatic colds, I'm feel relatively safe to summon our Shakri Avatar here. Um, next turn, we replace the Wings of Paradise. Hopefully draw into a spell, deal damage to his face, and hopefully win. Maybe I should put some Mist Dragon Seals into this deck? I'm not sure. We'll just have to see. Wow, three Chromatic Colds. He drew into all of them and a Cryogenesis. Wow. Just wow. Okay, so Primus Fist, you're going. Face damage. Okay. Fine world. Next turn. You watch out. Please no giant provokes. I didn't draw into any of the gore horns or anything. I seem to be drawing into a lot of the winds of paradise. Blood tear, he's gonna remove it. A frostbow naga? Oh wow, he's just in the perfect positioning. And I can't even move my general. Okay, fine. By the way, that was a misplay. I should have done that to this. Any source of damage should now win me the game. How many Phoenix Fires have I drawn? I don't have any fast damage in this deck, do I? Oh, am I dead? I don't think so. Yeah, he's gonna drop a unit here. 100% of the time. There you go. I mean, I'm not dead, but I'm almost dead. So it's damage or bust? Bust. Good game. Surrender. Oh, Nelly. Okay. Oh, Nelly. Okay, th these Songhai decks are just not working out. Maybe I'm just not getting something about them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've played um, six games, one, two. Oh, that's not a good showing. Regardless, that pretty much does it for this episode of The Workshop. If you guys have any comments, questions, or suggestions, do put them in the description down below. Or sorry, do put them in the comment section down below, and I will be sure to answer. Without much else to say, thank you, and good night.